Hey, and welcome back, guys, to another episode of Ark Traveler. Uh, this is just the uh, water outpost that we built in the last episode, and um, I have a new addition to our little team here. It's a mini roach. It's the uh, Argentavis Chibi. I just spawned him in because uh, there's not going to be any events anytime soon where I'm going to be able to get chibis. And I didn't want to um, spend, like, too much time trying to get them when the events do come out, so I might as well just give it to myself now so I can get the extra levels later when I start killing some alphas. But yeah, today we're going to be taming a... Basilosaurus? It's like the, the whale, the, the ultimate water mount. Um, but before I can do that, I'm going to need to actually have a good water mount to be able to fight off all the nasty stuff in the water. So, I'm probably going to have to tame a Baryonyx because they're probably the best dinos for taking out the, uh, the swarms of manta rays that the uh, whales actually have around them because uh, they, they passively collect, basically, or attract any of these, uh, like, dolphins or manta rays uh, near them when they're, as they're swimming around. So we're going to have to go look in the swamp find a high level baryonyx uh, and uh, tame it and then use that to find a high level whale so we can uh, passive tame that which is going to be a nightmare and then be able to take on the uh, underwater cave later on so I'm gonna have to go look through the swamp area and look around the edge of the redwoods uh, to see if we can find a uh, reasonably high level baryonyx so might just go and do that and then come back when we do if you're liking the uh, series so far as well make sure you hit the uh, like button and uh, share the video and comment in the comment section below I'd really appreciate any support you guys could give me um, this series has been pretty interesting and fun and been learning a lot of stuff along the way so yeah, just smash that like button if you can, get the views up, and uh, help grow the channel, I guess. Hello, friend. Level 6 male Titanosaur. I don't think they get any higher level than that. Got some beavers over here. Tech Parasaur. Ooh. Oh. Hey. What level are you? 24. Hit you. Boop. Guess you die. Oh, what level are you? Level 12. Not worse. Boop. Not going into the water and risking that. Um. Must eradicate the Baryonyxes so that the higher level ones spawn. That is how evolution works. Right. Any more of these guys? What level are you? 24. Guess you die as well. Oh, this is going to be hard. Wish I had a tech helmet so I could see through the trees and stuff. Yeah, it's kind of difficult to spot them in the in the swamp. Having difficulty finding them. Um, and the ones I have been finding are really low level so far, so it's a little bit annoying. Someone over there. 48. Yeah, see, they're like all really low levels. I haven't eradicated enough, obviously, for higher level ones to spawn, so. Um. Capros. What were you? Spiomia. Thought it was Baryonyx. Oh! Puts that in the water over there. 18. Ugh. 
I'm not having very good luck. Split level. 30. Ooh, 174, there we go. Found it. Uh, please don't go into the water. I'm gonna regen some Stam, I guess, and I'm gonna bring that Baryonyx back. It's a 120 Spino. Where is he? Come on, Roach. Let's go. Alright, cool. Gonna bring you back to the base, and then put you in a taming pen, and tame you up. So I'll be back. There we go. Okay, good. Alright, so we have this uh, male Baryonyx. Um, I wonder, what stats do you have? 2.5k health, 500 weight, 290 melee. That's not bad, and that's without levels from the time, so. Uh, I think he takes uh, regular kibble, I think. So we're gonna have to make some of them. Alright. Um, I've made seven. Hopefully. That's going to be enough for him to tame out. Almost ready to go. One more kibble. Crafted a saddle. Any second. There we go. And you kill the crop. Alright. Put a saddle on you. And this is going to be our main water mount for taming the Bacillosaurus. I'm just going to call it the whales from now on. Bad. These things are pretty fast. Like This is without um, imprint, so when you imprint them they're even faster than this. So they're, they're pretty good uh, water mounts. They're definitely one of the best uh, starting water mounts. You can get your hands on them early because they have this really cool uh, attack when they're in the water. That is a big salmon. Where they do this tail spin and it stuns it stuns basically everything except the fish. And it's also gonna be my raw fish meat gatherer, which is gonna be great because I need to keep Squeak fed, because Squeak only eats fish. And this guy only eats fish. Well, I think this guy only eats fish. I'm not sure if he eats meat or not. So I'm just going to cryopod, fly over there, and then start looking for a, a whale. But before that, I need to get my gear ready, because I need some scuba gear and some stuff like that. And I also need some uh, prime meat, because I don't have enough to make the kibble, I don't think. Do I have enough? I'll probably have to check if I have enough for the kibble. Alright, here we are at the outpost. I've crafted a bit of kibble. Um, so I crafted seven, I ran out of eggs. So uh, I crafted a couple of scuba tanks from the blueprints I found. Uh, I got a swim clear mask, which is basically the exact same thing as a scuba mask, except it has just slightly better vision underwater. And then I crafted a few saddles as well for any whales that I do find, and a few empty cryopods so I can put them away once I tamed them. So let's just get Killer Croc out. There we go. And hop in the water for a sec so you can try out the little bay. So this is going to be where I'm going to store the whales. They're going to just chill in here. Might have to make a couple of uh, hitching posts just to keep them there so that they don't you know, move around and stuff like that. And this is primarily where I'm going to be breeding them as well. So hopefully I can get a couple of high levels and then start breeding uh, the dinos in here. So we'll just do a comparison between what it looks like underwater without the mask and what it does look like underwater with the mask. So it's just a little bit clearer. It doesn't get rid of the, the murky uh, effect completely, but it just makes it a little bit easier to see it underwater. 
So that's going to be the mask. But yeah, as you can see, it just makes things a little bit easier to spot. Um, so you can see the Megalodon in the distance there a little bit better. But it's nothing too broken. Hmm. So now we begin the arduous search for the whale. An alpha? That is an alpha. Alright, so you can still per you can still permanent the stomach. Okay, that's good. What level is this? 126? Oh my god. It's gonna take a while. What did you give? For pick, fins, and some kite armor. Take the arrows, don't really need kite armor. Is that an anglerfish? I might kill you for some angler gel then. Come to me. Fishy, fishy. Kill. Angler gel. Oh, but You were not there before. Okay. What level are you, a whale? Eh, 24. Pretty tanky for a low level. Oh, I didn't even need to bring Prime with me, because these things drop Prime. Uh, oop. There's another one. Level you. Yep, 24. Guess you're gonna die as well. Alright. Whoa! Hey! Sneaky. There's a leads over there. There's a mosasaur face hugging a rock. 132 mosa. And there's a bunch of dolphins following me around. And a megalodon. Getting a lot of oil from this though. Is that all of the manta rays dead? I'm a little bit concerned because I'm not seeing any eels or jellyfish. And that's the only major threat that I have to worry about at the moment because this guy doesn't really like either of them. But if you're coming up to the surface, I'm gonna get some easy kills on you. Come back. Uh, now the real question is Oop, legs back. That is a lot of nasty stuff over there. There's another bassy over that direction. Do I get my captain hat? I don't get my captain hat, it's from the Alphas. That sucks. Um What level are you? Uh, 126. Not bad. It's not bad. I do want you to come up a little bit though. Because otherwise those guys will come after me. Well, we might as well tame you for now. Where is my prime meat? Right, so this is a passive time. You just gotta go up to him. Do that. And then just wait until he's ready to do it again. And as far as I can tell, the first time you um, feed a passive tame, it's gonna take a really long time for the timer to wear off. And then after that, any other tame, uh, any other like feedings will come at more regular intervals. 
So you just got to keep an eye out on the fir after the first feeding. And ta da! All right. So we got our first Bessie. I might just put the saddle on you. So I'm going to cryopod the, the Bassy, go back to the outpost, and then leave Killer Croc there and take the new Bassy out to go find another high level whale. And I'm going to use that. Then probably we're going to breed some more and breed a really good high level whale and then take on the cave. That's the plan. Alpha Megalodon trapped in the shallows? Yes. What are you? 54. Cool. Well, this isn't cheap at all. Is that an Alpha Raptor as well? Oh my god, there's an Alpha Raptor over there as well. Ugh, where's my luck? This is so cheap. Alright. Alpha's dead. Time to take on the other one. And he's dead. Drop anything good? Yeah, a few crossbows. Good pickaxes. Why not? Alright. Here we are. Let's test if this uh, this door works well. Beautiful. All right. So this is our whale, our first one. Not a bad first one. Stats. So it's already got 14,000 health, which is ridiculous. So it's gonna be, it's, it, you know, tanking stuff is not gonna be an issue. So, it's a bit on the hungry side though. But, well, yeah, we'll just take this out, level them up, go look for a high, high, like a near max level, hopefully a male, and tame that up. All right. Kill these jellyfish. Um, I've been kind of struggling to find any good level one, uh, good level whales uh, nearby. <laughs> I mean, I'm basically like halfway to Herbivore Island, so I might head over that way and see if they spawn any good ones down there, because that's usually where they spawn a lot of. Uh, a lot of whales around the island. So, probably find a, a decent amount there. Oh, there's a bassy. Oh, two bassies. Okay, how about you? 54. One at oh, okay. There's there's our bassy. Uh, there is a lot of jellyfish around here, so I'm gonna have to clear them out first. There's the 180. Okay, sweet, and it's a male too. Nice. Just kill off these manta rays. And now I just get the kibble ready. And see if this turns faster than the uh, prime meat. Almost done. One more feed left. No, we should be alright. Come on. Perfect tame 180 whale. Whiz kill. Feels good. Come on. There we go. 
Alright, put you away. There we go. And now we have two whales. So all we have to do now is uh, head back to base. Should be ready to go for the next episode. So thanks for watching, guys. I'm gonna bring this whale home. Someone's attacking my booty.